Hello everyone, my name is Stacy Hadit, and my assignment this unit was on figure 33.12 and this is Ashoka at Kalinga by Mira Mukherjee and it was done in 1972. This is a bronze sculpture which stands 11 feet and 6 and 3 fourths inches high. This is currently located at the Moria Sheraton Hotel in New Delhi. Mira was a sculptor from India. She first trained in Germany where she was exposed to um, the European artistic developments, but she later returned to her homeland of India and had rejected much of what she had learned previously and instead began using some traditional techniques that were employed by the Bastard tribe, uh, Bastard tribe, yes, located in central India. This process started by beginning with a rough um, core of clay and it was covered in long threads of beeswax and coated with clay paste and metal wire. And after heating the mold over charcoal, a uh, charcoal fire, the wax would melt and then liquid bronze is then poured into the space of the former wax threads. And to create large molds such as Ashoka at Kalanga, Kalinga, uh, many molds were created and then welded together and the seams were kept visible. So, Ashoka at Kalinga was actually assembled from 26 different cast bronze sections um, and they all each had their own intricate textures um, as well as some traditional Bastar work. About the statue itself, Ashoka was the Mora Emperor in the 3rd century BCE. Mira depicted Ashoka standing on the battlefield at Kalinga. Um, this is important because after Ashoka witnessed um, the 100,000 deaths and the violence, Ashoka adopted Buddhism as their official religion of his empire. Now, Mira chose to conceive her statue as a pacifist protest against the own political violence that was um, happening and was unleashed in 1971 between India and Pakistan over the creation of the new independent nation of Bangladesh, which was formerly part of Pakistan. So with this sculpture, Mira was able to unite her native lands uh, past and present with this single work of art with very great emotive power. So this is my presentation on Ashoka at Kalinga, and I hope you learned something. Thank you.